Howdy, Jason Lewis here, and today on the Saga of Old Large Marge here, it's a friggin' rad day. Check this out. I got the wheels and tires in, finally. Now you're gonna start to see what I've been thinking and seeing in my head all along. This is a 17 by nine, and this is an 18 by 10 rim from ET Mag. Now this is a company in Northern California. I talked to the owner, Scott, on the phone, and it's really kind of neat to talk with the guy who's gonna be building your rims. And what they offer there is these vintage, beautiful mini light wheels in the style of the old Trans Am racers, but in modern sizes. Like we got these big, awesome brakes, yet I'm gonna be able to get a 17 by nine in the front, and I got an 18 by 10 in the rear. So here are some of the specs on these things. These are both two-piece aluminum rims, and I decided to wrap them with the Be of Goodrich G-Force Comp 2 All Season Tires. Now this is a brand new tire from BF Goodrich and it's not a full tilt race tire, but what this tire does is it offers a little bit of everything and they're really affordable. Now why I chose this tire is because it's A, they're brand new tire, it's very aggressive looking, but it's the perfect break-in and setup tire for this car. I'll be able to go and autocross it and do some, you know, sporty driving and get the car and the suspension dialed on this thing, and yet I'll still be able to drive it if it rains or if anything happens. It's just a good highway tire and all-season tire, yet it has some serious performance characteristics that I'm going to need when I'm dialing this thing in. And now if I end up getting serious and getting to some serious track days, we can step it up to the actual comp tune. And the size of tire I'm running are the 275-40-18s for the rear and the 255-40-17 for the front. And so now you're going to get a chance to see the footprint or the stance of this car, and that's one of the most important impressions that you get when you see a car as you approach a car. So this is a really big moment for me. So let me get these tires on this car, set it on the ground for the first time in a long time, and roll it out in the driveway and show you what I'm talking about. Again, one of the cool features of these rims is that it gives you plenty of room. I have 14 inch rotors and these big, huge, sexy Willwood six piston calipers on here and these rims clear with no problem and I was able to order these things with the custom backspace that I wanted I, you know if you remember that other video I went ahead and did some pretty careful measurements and you'll see once this scene sits on the ground if we were right I'm kind of going crazy here I don't know if it's coming across in this video but this is a big deal for me. Having to see this car on jack stands for so long. And now, get to see my vision of this car sitting on the ground. It's pretty awesome. And these wheels are gonna make or break this project. Now since the driveway is on an incline, I am going to get a little winch training today by using the winch to help secure the car as it comes out of the garage. Winch out! So check this out. I bought this handy dandy winch bag and we are going to use this little snatch block to help stabilize the car as it goes out the driveway. Now this is what you call a very useful tool. And we'll actually use our tree saver, wrap that around the axle. Winch out. I tell you, this is so cool. And we'll get the car on out here before we can get a good look at it.
And there it is. I think the rims are just about perfect at what I'm going for here. Now remember, there's no engine in Large Mars yet, and the whole car will sit about three inches lower. And with the Total Control Products coilovers at all four corners, I can get the stance just right. But for now, check out how handsome this often overlooked Mustang Coupe is. The footprint is tough, and the vintage look and modern size and stagger of the ET wheels is an out-of-the-park home run. All right, while I winch this thing back into the garage, it seems that I missed the light. Sorry about that, but uh, you stay tuned. There will be plenty more videos to show you exactly where we're at with this thing. Till next time, enjoy your drive. All right, winch in.